we're here. Hello and welcome to the Tristan channel and today I'll be doing a trailer breakdown for Doctor the, the, the second trailer of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Hopefully I won't get copyright for this. Um, uh, uh, to be fair, well, it's in fair use, you know, and all that sort of stuff. Hopefully, because I reacted to more combat trailer. And, um, was it Netflix? Or I got copyright, but this isn't fair use, so best to bear in mind. I'm not no copyright infringement intended. Um, I'm just trying to break down the trailer, the Easter eggs, and all that stuff. Because, like I said, in the description, a lot of what we see confirms a lot of the leaks that have been said. Okay, and plus, I'll put my own spin on it because a lot of people have not pieced together or guessed things. So. Let's take a look. Every night, I dream the same dream. That's interesting. That, that sanctum that's broke away. That might be where he sees um, Sinister Strange. Incidentally, if you go over to the trailer and put the subtitles on, it's not Strange Supreme, like we've been led to believe. It's actually. Um, Sinister Strange, so it's a new variant, which is interesting. So this might be the sanctum that he goes to with the thing, because before he in the other trailer, see this here. If you remember, you see this beach water up front, and then he goes into this room, and then Sinister Strange comes downstairs. Okay, that there is. Um, I said, if you watch the trailer properly, I'll put the link in place, in which I'm running interrupted. But that bit there, spinning there, that's Doctor Strange being sucked in. And let's have a look, sorry. I think it's this bit. In the same dream. Man. Right, yeah, so the one chained up is. Oh, bloody hell, what's her name? Is it America Chavez? The one that can teleport, you know, for, uh, jump from dimension to dimension. So it's a new character I've never really heard of outside the film, so forgive me. But the one in the pony cell there being spanned in the vortice, that's um, in the portal, gateway, whatever you call it, is Defender Strange. And this could be Stephen Strange in the Sanctum who's had the nightmare, or it could be, this clip here, could be Defender Strange, we don't know. But also the fact he mentions nightmare could mean that Oh, it's raining. Could mean that the the, the the villain in this could be Nightmare as well, or something. The nightmare begins. I did. Um. Oh, freaking out! What's his name? Uh. That's post. Uh, the one that's like Cthulhu. Sorry, I, I do apologise for, get, for getting the bloody name. Um, there's a Cthulhu like creature that was in What If. Fucking hell, what's his name? Sorry, just give me that French. Um, I should know this as well. Because um, <laughs> I'm a big fan of Strange and Lovecraft once or so, because there's a connection between the two, the inspiration and stuff. Um, but it's not, basically, it's not the, the intended um, nemesis, as it were. It was actually Gargantos it, that we see in one eclipse. But this bit here is interesting here. It looks like he's... What I had to do. To protect... That, that book there is the dark hole by looks of it. And the red stuff is the chaos magic like Wanda had at the end of One Division. Dark world. You cannot control everything strange. Universes. See what is interesting, what, apart from the fact that this bit here is re very reminiscent of what if, right? There's something that no one's said, and I'm pretty sure it wasn't on his cloak in the other films. And he's got a. If you go back here. To protect our world, you cannot control everything strange. You open the doorway. He's got. A uh, blue diamond or shield or between universes, and we don't 
know who or what will walk through it. Wanda, what do you know about the multiverse? Viz had his theories. Viz is vision. He believed it was dangerous. Oh, there you go. The, the miner saw that was released in the merch. So that's a, a, a leak. So you got Defender Strange, which is true. Um, and the mind tour. He was right. Oh, he's attacking Comtage yet, but. I'm sorry, Stephen. That's Mordo, but we're not sure if it's Mordo from the Prime Universe or who's a part of the Illuminati. Oh, spoiler there. There are clues in the poster, and you'll see in. As, I'm sure you've seen the trailer anyway, so. Um, but of, uh, the Professor X and that we've seen that, that's kind of your desecration of reality that is very much like what if that bit will not go unpunished there you go the Ultron sentries we should tell him the truth Someone said, was it, I think, uh, another, uh, wait, I think, um, Mr. H, who I'm a big fan of, you know, check, check his channel, and other people said, oh, I'm surprised it's not McAvoy, but the thing is, bear in mind, they're trying to do the no, the thing is, this is thing you see, people come out, I'll, I'll explain, I'll point out, because there's some bits you see, I'll point out, but people are going on about, um, what do you call it? new characters they're mentioning new characters that we may know in the comics but they're not going to introduce characters that we have not met in films yet and plus uh, who are not big impact because everyone knows because there's a lot of rewrite when this when they made this they rewrote they did a re lot of reshoots because of the success of spider-man no way home so they want a no way home vibe to it keep that complete going so there's there's a no way oh sugar knocking stuff over there's going to be a no way home vibe to it yeah so it's like they're going to do nostalgia trips homages you know not um and things like that obviously if they're going to bring in uh uh bring in the x-men and stuff like that they've got because they forget mcavoy is still they're both canon don't forget mcavoy takes over from the days of future past because they have the last stand where everyone gets where, where Gene dies, and if you remember, in Future Past, which is the hang on, let me see, X Men Four, basically in it, um, which can then connects that and First Class crew together, and hence the whole idea of because you change, he, he, he leaves a message for his younger self, plants that seed, and you know get, also gets Logan to change stuff, etc., and then obviously you when Logan comes back you see that Gene is back, uh, still there obviously and, um, and Logan still works I'm not sure that's still canon within this new universe because it's um, another outcome to Days of Future's past isn't it um, but that was set far into the future anyway so that's still canon you know what I mean so which is kind of you know if that is still canon as well that it adds a bit of sadness and tragedy because no matter if they bring the x-men into the mcu you know that not because not all mutants died it was um just the ones in the house manor you know what i mean but it's kind of tragic if that's canon as well because what well, adds a tragedy to because you know the outcome no matter if we see him again you know he's gonna get he's gonna die So I was saying about this bit. This bit. This bit's the mirror. Uh, it's not. It's not necessarily smashing through realities as such. I don't think it could be like you know in the what if. But then the background we breaking not him. It looks like he's going. It's the mirror dimension where reality goes all weird, and that's where. It, and he's. Things just got out of hand. Right. Watch this. If I go. Right, subtitles are on. Things just got out of hand. Oh man, oh man, oh man. 
and it doesn't show it on this one this is channel but you go to other film channels and it says sinister strange and it, there's been other people saying this is not it's a spring strange but yeah if you go to any other place and put subtitles on it comes up as sinister strange you break the rules look out Gargantos, not. Oh, it's gonna bug me now. I'm sorry. It's yeah. It's not the big bad, big bad. There's one that's like it, you know, the Cthulhu-esque creature. It's got a similar name, isn't he? But yeah, it's turned out to be Gargantos. However, people are saying obviously small, but however, apparently there is a room. It could be still the big bad, the next one up, if that makes sense, because um. Apparently there's some license licensing issues, so I might have replaced it at Gargantos, but called it something you know. Use the name for that. So for example, if I make a film that's got Cthulhu in it, but I can't use Cthulhu because of licensing or copyright issues, I then would call it on a crack a kraken or something. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? That sort of thing. But I got a feeling that Wanda's gonna be the villain. I do it, I become the enemy. One division, this is it. Now, this is either in a, a, another world, another dimension, or this is happening in her head. Um, you know, she's fighting with two personalities because there was two personalities ingrained into her, which she on base because the, the, the Scarlet Witch, if you remember in One Division, Scarlet Witch was dormant, and it's supposed to be a prophecy about the Scarlet Witch coming around. And if it, she came about, then that would be bad, you know. What I mean? So, either this is a natural universe or reality where. The house is there all this is going on inside her head but where she goes people going oh yeah but she doesn't sound like she's the villain in the story because she's the way she's calmly saying it to him look at interviews of serial killers or psychopaths they don't look crazy or sound crazy and the way she uh, and the way she's speaking to him and the way if we go back that's awesome but if you go back and look at his face become a hero. I do it, I become the enemy. He looks a bit concerned, doesn't he? He doesn't he's not like it's a casual conversation. That doesn't seem fair. Fight! Now this is either People are saying it's Doctor Strange or Sinister Strange, or it could be him absorbing, getting corrupted by the chaos magic. However, he doesn't have. Oh, way up. That is really bizarre. Uh, I've just noticed something, folks. Now that could be Sinister Strange, or it could be, they're saying it could be Nightmare. One, I can't see the goatee, but there's something up about this. Is He's got red patches on his clothes that are very re reminiscent of Defender Strange. Hmm. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, that hasn't got what? Uh, what the hell? What do you know about the multiverse? <laughs> that was sure some of um, Defender Strange. That looks badass. He's just like. Appears there and just holds this demon creature off with one hand. It looks awesome. Tell him the truth. That bit there. They had this. The other trailer I saw that said Sinister Strangers trailers. It had these bits in it. We should tell him the truth. Everyone is saying that's Nova. One who the who the hell is Nova? 
know you said comic. I feel like I said I'm, I'm, I don't have caught. It's been years since I read comics. Comics. So who the hell's Nova? Why would you introduce him unless, of course, you know, unless, of course, you read the comics? Don't forget, they loosely based stuff on the 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 comics, but. But they change it, yeah. It's like, for example, DCU, the Flash movie, is set in the multiverse, not time travel. There's a TV spot with a more of this on here. This is Mike Dash, this is the TV spot. Um, but yeah, because there's a bit, it might be this. But one, if you look at that, you see the arc reactor in the chest. He's got the. You can see the armor, and it's glowing blue, and he's on fire. This. Ladies and gentlemen, plus the headband, you might see it in this bit. Actually, I'll try and find it. <laughs> see, that's cool. He's got Strange Supreme's powers, but that's the thing. You see, there's supposed to be four variants. Apparently, there's apparently you see four variants of strangeness. So you might see Strange Supreme. I don't know. You might be a part of the Illuminati or defend the Strange. Might part of the We don't know, but it's just that it's odd that he has the tentacle serpent thing out of his hand, like Strange Supreme. <laughs> ah, this might be it, actually. Careful, Stephen. This path exacts a heavy toll. Or maybe he does get zombified by... Watch the full trailer online. Okay, that didn't show it. Okay. While we're here, folks. Yeah, let's come out of this. Move this second iron. Sorry, as you may want, I'll do a lot of this stuff on my phone. So this might be it. What do you know about the multiverse? We should tell him the truth. Exacts a heavy toll. Watch the full tree. Oh man, oh man. Right. In right, I've got it in the pictures, right? At the beginning of this video, you'll see a set of images, right? In a set of images in, in the trailer, because I, these ones don't have it in there. I'm I hope they it's because they don't know that. I, I, I swear, because you know they're, they're screenshots. You'll see them on there, right? On the trailer I saw, you see the flaming figure fly up, but there's a bit where he busts through a wall and then blasts up Wonder. Right? Which that's bugging me. I'm sorry, this is really bugging me. Yeah, excuse a lot, a lot of my junk on here that I watched. Every night. Dream the same dream. Then. There you go. Right on. Right. So he was right. Every night, I dream the same dream. got it in it right people have been saying oh it's uh, so and so rambo and he's like it's not trust me watch this i did what i had to do to protect our world actually mind you saying that because that book didn't look so weathered and tattered it could be the dark holder it could be the book of cagliostro we don't know you cannot control everything strange i'm leaving the subtitles on because i want you to see it you opened the doorway between universes, and we don't know who or what will walk through it. Wanda, what do you know about the multiverse? Viz had his theories. He believed it was dangerous. He 
was right. So we're not sure if he's the Prime Ordo or a uh, source of Supreme of another universe or thing like part of the Luminar. We should tell him the truth. Also, one of the pictures I got, you can just make out if you get it just right, is some of Fantastic Four logo on, and I think it's going to be the one with the Jessica Alba Al on the Jessica Alba film, film that you know she plays. You know, Sinister Strange. Boyaka! Right, there you go, look. Watch very carefully. Get it right. Things just got out of hand. Right. Also, don't forget. Um, oh, that's it. Sorry, I'm not sure I mentioned this now because I was trying. To, I was annoyed because that other trailer I showed you didn't have these bits in it. But don't forget, the rumor was he's strength. Not strength. Mm -hmm. He's superior Iron Man, and he has three Infinity Stones. The reason why he's flying like that and glowing like that is because he has the Power Stone, which is what give, gives Captain, which gives Captain Marvel her power. You missed that. Right, watch this. Burst through the wall, flies forward. Wanda is getting ready to face and bang. There you go. Same figure shooting at Wanda. That means the the leak so called leaks about the Illuminati fighting Wanda are true. You break the rules. Look out! I become a hero. I do it. I become the enemy. So, um, yeah, so some people reckon that Wong may die. And that's how Strange becomes the Supreme. Although, I don't really. So, yeah, yes, so you've seen the rest. But I don't get how um, I don't get how Wong does it by default because I think yeah, surely I thought it was someone who earned it or someone who could who got to a level of power where they could do things like the spell he did and use the time stone and all that. But yeah, if you look at that clip, if I go and try and find it, I hope I don't get copyrighted for this because it's fair use. Plus, you, it's not exactly like you can see the trailer. Probably because you've got my ugly mug in front of it. Things just got out of hand. Him that's, um, uh, what do you call it? It could be him that's, uh, blah, 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 turns into the zombie. We don't know. It could be Sinister Strange. Because there was a bleak story. Because, yes, one, there may be an issue in it. But mind you saying that. It is interesting, right? What, right? Let's just cover this up. All right, so, see, look, that's Iron Man. And you can see, also, if you zoom in on the picture, like I said, I'll put the pictures on the thing. It's got the bloody headband. The, the concept art for that song, you know, fan art for Tom Cruise of the thing, looks exactly like it, mate. It doesn't look like these other people that are on about. It's just, ugh, grasping at straws. But I'm like, if you put, um, you know, I could be wrong, don't get me wrong, but the thing is, if you do pause it, it looks like, um, Superior Iron Man. Um, yeah, so anyway, so one there may could be the villain of the story. We don't know, but 
they do say the biggest threat to him is the multiverse although how I was saying that there could be just a way of getting but you know when they're fighting wonder oh pardon me try and find my indigestion tablets um when they're fighting wonder it could be I, I in that clip it could be because it could be complete misdirect all of this a lot of this could be misdirect because the way they edit it um but it could be either they're trying to stop her or it's because she's trying to break Doctor Strange out if he's been arrested and all, and all that sort of stuff um, because there was a rumour of a Dark Strange there was it Chavez and all that running away from a Doctor uh, evil Doctor Strange well it doesn't look like it in the terms of the trailer that the uh, she's been trapped by the demon thing I mean that could be the big bad except they've changed it so rather looking like a because basically, he, 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 the big bad, as you know, has got like we've seen him. At, he's, he had a cameo in What If. Um, Shumagorath, that's it. Boom. And you all remember Shumagorath? It could be Shumagorath, but apparently due to licensing or something, like that, they had to change it to Gargantos. But I don't think Shumagorath is the main villain. If so, they might, like they did with Dumamu, they might actually make him into energy, like tentacled energy. I don't know because the thing is, what if he was tentacles, wasn't he? So you can say, but anyway, so it could be a misdirect. It could be that wonder. Because thing is, the thing is that what but I do agree with what everyone says though, and that most people saying that is it's all good having the no way home vibe to it. But this is still Doctor Strange's film. It's still his story arc. He has to be the spotlight because. Don't forget, he had some awesome moments in Spider-Man. But for a large section of the film, he wasn't in it. He was trapped in over the, um, was it Grand Canyon or something? Yeah, 12 hours, which is quite funny. I bet Loki would laugh if he found out. But, so he didn't steal the spotlight from Spider-Man, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? He had a part to play because he helped him the spell and all that stuff. But, it was Spider-Man's story. So they need to be careful that the others don't, Go, you know, and even though, yeah, Wanda could be the antagonist, or it could be that she's being manipulated through the, the dark hold because the dark hold and that the chaos magic is said to corrupt you. So it could be, you know, she goes a bit bad and they pull her back out of it. But I'm not saying she ain't, ain't the main uh, uh, antagonist, but um, the problem is you don't want to make it about Wanda, it's about Strange. And if the trailer is true, because don't forget they could have edited it so. The biggest threat to the multiverse is you, Doctor Strange, or whatever they say. The way they piece that together in a trailer could have been cleverly edited as a misdirect. It could be the biggest threat in the universe is Wonder. I would like to see how they connect it to Loki because you can't blame Doctor Strange for that. Because you had the chaos in Loki happen. The, the 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 mess that was going on in what if I can understand why it isn't Strange Supreme because Strange Supreme is supposedly keeping an eye on Doctor Ogliv and uh, who took over Ultron and uh, the other guy from Wakanda I can't remember his name now um, Killer Killer something but anyway. Um, but yeah, it's. But then again, I always thought, well, the thing is, though, because he's in a sphere, because he stays in that pocket dimension there of his own universe, doesn't he? A little sphere. But I'm thinking it would make it. If I was a magician, I could do what he did. I'd create a sanctum. So the Sinister Strange could be a misdirect as well. It could be. Uh, it could be. You know, it could turn out he's Strange Supreme and helps Strange clear the mess up. He's like, because he knows what it's like to mess up. Defender Strange might be a member that actually Defender Strange might be a part of the Illuminati when you think about it because one there is supposed to be it's all it's all very good saying Mordo could be part of the Illuminati and stuff like that but he could be uh, it could be the prime more Mordo because don't forget there's been a five year gap there could be you know he could have changed over those five years when people got blipped you know what I mean he could have gone from too many wizards to actually we you know after fact considering Thanos we might need wizards however 
know what I mean? Because he may have gone, he may have become a potential bad guy, but then things change, you don't they? So I'm just speculating, but you know I mean, but yeah, but, but as I said, a lot of those leaks are true. And if you pause the, the TV spots in that train at the right moment, you can see it's an Iron Man suit. Anyone who's saying it's Captain Marvel or Rambo or anything, it's like, I could be wrong, but they need to get their eyes tested because whoever that is is wearing the superior Iron Man armor. Without a doubt, that looks like Iron Man armor. Silver Iron Man armor with a blue arc reactor, which may, would make sense because... See, that would be interesting. Why is his arc reactor... I mean, I know the arc reactor is blue anyway, but it would be interesting if he actually used the Tesseract or Power Stone or Space Stone to power his suit. Because you could power the technology a bit. Plus, he won't need repulsor rays. He could just fly and zap the energy from his hands, like uh, Captain Marvel. So, but yeah, a lot of his link uh, leaks are true. So yeah, um, but yeah, but that is quite interesting because I mean, like I said, I mean, sorry to jump around, you know, various stuff on there, but I was, I thought it was like an official trailer, but it, there must be more than one bloody trailer. In, two trailers because it's supposed to be trailer two but on the Marvel channel it cut a lot of that footage out that's because that was intentional I don't know misdirect <laughs> I don't know um, but you see what I mean that was the, the bit I wanted to show you that I thought was important in this video as well was a bit where Iron Man sm smashes through the wall which also means he's got more than just a cameo because apparently Tom Cruise would turn up on the set turn the Ultron Sentinels off those robots you saw and then that's it that's all you're going to see of him but no, he's going to be fighting Wanda with the Illuminati. So that's going to be cool. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure I was going to bring in the X-Men. My thing is, people were saying, yeah, but is it going to be a reverse of House of M where she goes, let there be mutants? I'm not being horrible, but that sounds like a stupid idea. Why would you do that? There's a multiverse. Professor X is already there. Before One Division, clearly, he's there. He's part of the Illuminati monitoring the multiverse. He's already there. He sat in that chair. There are an established group of people defending the multiverse, policing the multiverse. They're, they're acting like the TVA, but for the multiverse, which is kind of cool. The yeah, Illuminati, because so, the Illuminati had used originally it was in the main universe were like a secret Avengers with all the greatest minds together, and they had apparently that once they once they beat beat Thanos, they all kept. An infinity stone each but yeah so but I'm really stoked I'm really good this film looks epic and please don't and also um, to be fair I, I, I'm saying please don't do me for copyright because to be fair I have put in the description fair use regulation stuff like that and it's not like you know and I've put my ugly mug against it it's not like I'm using you know, it for m misleading content because I did a Netflix reaction trailer to a Resident Evil one and I got flagged copyright. I was like, twat. It's fair use. Um, it's not like I'm trying to sell it as my own thing or so I made the trailer. It's like, because I, I did actually have a good look on the internet and I shouldn't be done because it's fair use. Because lots of channels do it. I'm like, how come they're not getting done? And they're not even asking for permission as well. It's not like you write to these companies. You know what I mean? Anyway. So yeah, um, and plus, some some sites said, "Well, ironically, it must be just a, uh, an algorithm because at the end of the day, a lot of these film companies don't mind because you're seeing the trailer again through my channel. You're get, uh, they're getting the additional promotion for free. I mean, come on. So yeah, but I'm not sure if that's going to be sinister, strange. Let me see. Look, Hang on, let's go and play this before." <laughs> Since Strangers close, it looks like um, that uh, it doesn't. It does look like it's him that's going to turn into a zombie or does he anything. But that's interesting. Or well, mind you, saying that it could be another misdirect because I know there's supposed to be three or four variants of Doctor Strange. It could be a misdirect because there's another nemesis. Like I said, it could be Nightmare in this as well because a little Easter eggs Nightmare. I mean, people say, oh, Mephisto was in One Division. That was different. There wasn't no clues. No one saying, Mephisto, or 
devils in the details there's no little words to give you that impression um so yeah that's interesting as well because who's attacking Kamatars because that energy blast looks like Iron Man's blast um, there's another rumour that the Illuminati might be villains they might be bad versions of the X-Men and all that sort of stuff so but Supreme Iron Man apparently he isn't evil he's just um, imagine Tony Stark you know the way he did his business before he got imagine that he, you know Robert Downey Jr's the way he did the Iron Man in the films he started off like yeah that's how we make money in America and make America great and he blew the mountain up and all that sort of stuff I know he didn't say that but you know what I mean that sort of attitude to it well the superior Iron Man basically just didn't learn the lessons that I'll say our Iron Man for a better term our Iron Man didn't learn so he stayed that sort of like businessman arrogant sort of thing and but he was still he still became a hero but he was just arrogant and not so much so selfless as it were I could be wrong it could have, they could have put another spill on it it could be just as noble as our Iron Man but you know what I mean you break the rule Why you why you say that? I don't know because he's bashing for a wall there, isn't it? She's going, and she does look a bit beat up in this film, so that's going to be interesting. Mind you, all I can say though is, if I was in that universe, I do think to myself, yeah, but surely attacking her is the worst thing because, like, when Agatha attacked her. That brought out the Scarlet Witch, so it's a bit counterproductive, isn't it? Surely you want to try and rehabilitate her or make sure she didn't go Scarlet. You know what I mean? Surely, I don't know. It's my thought. See that? Sorry. You break the rule. That doesn't look. Yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? Because that doesn't look like it's a demon or something attacking. That looks like energy, like sank firing down. And they're firing arrows at some. Look out! So, I've seen that demon creature at the beginning couldn't fire bolts of energy, but I mean, become a hero. But the thing is, because of licensing, like I said, they can't use Shumagorov apparently as the rumor. But that still could be Shumagorov because the interesting thing about Shumagorov, just like Cthulhu and the Lovecraft sort of idea, because that's a lot where the ideas come from, because. Interesting enough, like I said in my other video about uh, magic in the MCU, Doctor Strange uses Eldritch magic, which is the same magic in Lovecraft, the Necronomicon and all that sort of stuff. The Darkhold is basically the, you could probably say it's the, yeah, because if that's Shumagorov territory, yeah, you could say the Darkhold is the, um, the, uh, what's me, Bob? Is their equivalent to Necronomicon, probably like an evil dead sort of thing, you know? What I mean? um, which, incidentally, Bruce Campbell is basically in this film. That'd be quite funny, wouldn't it? It could be. Imagine that's what's what I think he should come as a cameo as Ash or Sank. I'm looking for the Dark Holder <coughs> or something like that, you know? What I mean? Sorry, so I went down the wrong hole. I do it, I become the enemy. But she looks dead serious, like, like you know, not resting bitch face, but you know what I mean. Um, what do you call it? Stern. People are saying, oh, she's just being, uh, just casually talking. Watch the video of a, like I said, watch the video of a psychopath or a serial killer. It's like, seriously. This could be interesting. It could be in the end of the film because if you know, again. Depends which variant we see his, his whether or not the variant again because it's like this is this is good. this film's gonna get besides but the, 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 the clues in the name and it could be like a mouth of madness thing if you watch that film you're not sure which is real and what's not that's how good the mouth of madness was with Sam Neil it's got elements of that apparently in it as well um, 
so you're not sure if this bit here is a dream or something that's happening in her head you know what I mean and she's there to comfort her inner the inner demon sort of thing that doesn't seem fair and then you notice her, uh, and Marism is like doesn't seem fair I mean I can't do it as well but I mean that sort of yeah you know what I mean it's like you know when you see that film where someone does something bad and they try and justify it This is what I'm making because he's fighting Mordo with the handcuffs on, so it looks like he's trying to break out. So that's why I'm thinking, you know, Wanda could be breaking him out. I don't know. Because she doesn't have to say, oh, yeah, going back to that thing about let there be mutants, she doesn't have to do that because one, they're already there. This is the multiverse. If you look at how a multiverse works and all that sort of thing. Um, also, we don't know what Harkness did with the. It wasn't quite. It was ambiguous what she did with the children. Um, also, the interesting thing is she's getting covered by the dark dark hold. Shumagora, for whoever the big bad is, could is could be like manipulating her. That's what I mean. It's like you know, if she does get bad in the film. It could be that thing where she goes bad and then comes back to the light side, as it were. You know, what I mean, she's been minute because, like they say, the dark hold corrupts you. So it's could that could be how it works. Um, But yeah, but what gets me though is, if you look at this, folks, isn't it not just me? But you remember the red detail on you will see in the photo that I'll put, and plus you've you, you've probably seen it in the merchandise, haven't you? But if you remember what Defender Strange looks like, the Sinister Strange or Strange Supreme, depending if we're being misdirected or not, is very dark, turquoise grey colours. Which is as which incidentally interesting enough is not Supreme Strange colours because in what if it was black and purple and red and you know like Dracula sort of colours you know what I mean but right. let's have a look because also that could be I mean it's either the chaos magic corrupting him or to be fair that could be. But it's not Defender Strange, though, is it? Because he hasn't got long hair. But it's interesting. I can't tell from that scene. It looks interesting, doesn't it? Because either he's summoning them or he's um, trying to banish them. But what gets me with that? Oh. See, look at his look at that costume, though. Oh no, that is Doctor Strange. It is a variant of Doctor Strange because he's got the the hair. What? Let me know what you think in the comments, folks. But look at the arm and that. Because here's the thing, you see. Because in the in the leagues. Chavez is pulled out she does emergency jump and all that sort of stuff and the bit where we see Strange spiral through because she's trapped by that demon thing right which is where I presume these creatures come from I've got a fascinating idea but it doesn't look like he was voluntary pulled you know what I mean he looked like he's like whoa what's going on and then he appeared there and you see the thing I know it's missed the, the time frame when the chariot is different from the thing but um, I wonder if because there's a, there's a rumour that um, either Defender Strange comes I can't remember the, in, in one of the synopsis apparently Defender Strange sends her away like makes her open a gate sets her free whilst he's holding off this demon thing wouldn't it be interesting that if the demon thing came through the gate with him using him as a vessel that'd be interesting 
I'm not, I'm not saying it's true. That could be sinister, strange for now. It could be just red because of chaos magic. I don't know. But well, yeah. It, I would say glowing, but it's not glowing red, is it? It's not glowing red. The actual colour is, the cloth is red. The arm here, this band down this arm here, that is from the Defender Strange uniform. Oh, it's going to be interesting. <laughs> Yeah, so sorry, let's move this over here. Yes, I. Oh, look at that. See, look, if you look there, <coughs> look closely. Obviously, you just do on the virtual trailer as well. If you look at there's a bit, there's a light here, right? So that's the headband. You'll see in the pictures, eh? and, I, and, I, and I'll close up on this because I don't want to keep blabbering on about but because um, a lot of these, some of you are spotted, but I just want to clarify some points because one. He, no, that's Iron Man. And yes, the face is all blurred in different colour, but one, he's travelling fast, and it's happening fast, and two, he's on fire and glowing and stuff. It's going to... The effects are going to... You know, it's like a campfire. You're not going to be skin colour, are you? Um, but you've got a headband there, and don't forget, Marvel's eyes glowed when she flies and stuff, when she powers up, you know what I mean? And the hair, it's just Tom Cruise's hair. That's what I'm It looks like Tom Cruise. It, anyone else? And wham, look at that. You break the rules. Look out! And become a hero. You break the rules. Look out! And become a hero. I do it. Hang on a second, I saw something. What's that? I was just seeing who it is. But yeah, no. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below now. But yeah, um, a lot of those, you know, like, but yeah, it basically does confirm the trailers and all that stuff. But I wanted to convey um, my thoughts there. And obviously there's some stuff there which look kind of interesting. But you see what I mean, though, about that? It's either Sinister Strange who gets possessed by demons, or it could be a mystery, it could be Nightmare. But it's just so strange. <sighs> strange. But... There's red on the armband. If you look at the Defender Strange costume, hmm, it's just gonna. That's gonna be. Oh, this. Oh, this is gonna be good. It's gonna be a good film. It's gonna be interesting. The whole idea. I think this film is gonna go all crazy anyway because it's supposed to be like the Mouth of Madness. If you watch that film, it goes a bit mad. No pun intended. But you know what I mean, um, because you're not sure what's real. You know, Sam Neill's character goes is driven insane because he doesn't know which was real and what's not. But yeah. Like I said, if you zoomed in, it's like the headband, everything, it's shiny armour. It's silver blimmin' armour, mate, with a glowing bloody arc reactor here. It's Iron Man. It's got Tom Cruise's haircut as well. So it's not Nova. I could be wrong, but it looks like. In terms of <laughs> um, face verification and ID and all that sort of stuff, that's Iron Man. You know? So... And also because this trade confirms the leaks, it pushes that way as well. They're not going to have people who. Not, the thing is also they're doing a Spider-Man No Way Home fee vibe to it. They're not going to have actors or people you don't know. And Rambo, she was only in one division. She's not not no disrespect to the character or the actor. She's not that. In, she's not that important. If she had a set of films like Captain Marvel or Thor where we got to know her more then yeah we'd be like yay it's Rambo yay. it's like the, it's like the Skywalker moment of Mandalorian they didn't do it for one division, but they did it for Spider-Man No Way Home and people saw Tommy Maguire Andrew Garfunkel and they lost their they lost their minds don't crazy you know wow 
crazy um as christopher walken would say you know and it's like that's what they're doing this film so they're going to use faces from old films especially like the garfield um uh, period of genre films so if it's if you've got if they're doing illuminati and there's a like i say it should be in a picture i'm uploading to the beginning of the video or the end of the video um i might put them at the end actually because otherwise it'll yeah there's no point yeah i don't want to plant the seed in your head i don't want to um su power suggestion put their idea in your head i want you to watch this see what you think and then look at the photos and go oh yeah maybe um but you're gonna need, they're gonna use uh, but, they're, but one song so, song must slow it right down and when you see dr strange stand there looking at the, the um the seats you can just make out a fantastic four logo on i think if they're going to do the reed richards i can't remember his name which i feel really bad for because i used to watch hornblower quite a lot i love his I, 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 he's a good actor and stuff i like him um they're going to do the one from oh my god is it uh, this is how far back it is is it from the 90s or early 2000s you know they were jessica alba they're going to do that fantastic four someone where we go oh my god yeah the toby Maguire era yep <coughs> you know what I mean? The other thing they haven't gave away is the Spider-Man yet. Apparently Spider-Man was rumoured to be in it. We don't know. And if so, it's going to be Tobey Maguire. The only reason why I believe that as well, to be fair, is because... Because, ladies and gentlemen, because Sam Raimi and Tobey Maguire are like this. They're like, you know, like good bosom buddies, you know what I mean? Um, someone's saying Daniel Radcliffe is going to be um, Wolverine. No, 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 no. If he is, I'm going to be peeved off. Shall I tell you why? Because... For example, when it say for example, when it comes to the WWE, WWE wrestling, you hear rumours of rest. I mean, they I know they go to the gym regularly, but sometimes when they make a debut back or they want to come back with style, they jack up, don't they? Like get whoa, in shape. Um, Hugh Jackman apparently was seen going to the gym get you know, under his Wolverine regime. Um, uh, one, don't forget, it could be a variant of Wolverine. It doesn't have to break continuity. And two, don't forget Logan. Um, again, we don't know where Logan stands. Logan could have completely changed. Could have, could not be canon. You know what I mean, it could be um, different because of Days of Future Past, all that sort of stuff. It could be different. We don't know. We don't know where that that film sits in chronologically because I think it's flipped around and stuff. And you've got the James McAvoy and all that sort of stuff. Um, there's only there's loose ideas and stuff wherever that fits in, but. If they're going to have Wolverine in it, they're going to have one that's going to make the people wet their pants. And Hugh Jackman said, despite Logan, if it came back just as a cameo, even for the Avengers, um, because he says he always wanted to play Wolverine in the Avengers, but you know, he if they did, because he said I like that idea, I wanted to do that idea. Um, on Graham Norton, and here's another thing: on Graham Norton. Um, Sir Patrick Stewart or Beef Stew got that one out there it's, that's his Twitter account name um, when they said when they asked Hugh Jackman if that's going to be the last one and he goes is that going to be your last one as well and he turned around and said to uh, uh, Graham Norton and Hugh Jackman who, who was sat next to him on the couch he was like I think that's going to be my last one as Professor X as well you know leave it on that one leave it on a note but he's come back in the multiverse of madness if Pat, if they say we need Hugh Jackman, one Hugh Jackman do because it's the Avengers. Two, Patrick Stewart's going to say, "Hey, mate, they want Wolverine in this." He's not going to say. He's not going to say. No one says no to the beef stew. You know what I mean? No one says says no to uh, Sir Pat Stewart or beef stew, isn't it? You know what I mean? So, I'm not saying he's in, he is in it. Cause the thing is, they don't want to put too much out there. I'm not saying Tom Cruise isn't a big thing. But don't forget the reason why Tom Cruise is a variant because apparently he was going to get the job before Robert Downey Jr. Um, hence why they used him. Um, but it's like so it's going to be like you know what I mean. It's like so if you're going to do other things, you're not going to bring in other actors to do this thing. You're going to bring on something that's going to be like a Luke Skywalker moment or um, a No Way Home moment where everyone's going to go, "Oh my god!" So. 
that's right. So the point I was going at, yeah, is they're going to show those clues and bits in the trailer. It doesn't matter if that gets confirmed. They'll be like, yeah, okay, cool. The ones that are going to make you go, and just, you know, don't really, okay, I'm going to say it. Make you just have a geekasm, a joygasm, like all the fans did watching No Way Home, is they're going to have Wolverine or someone else turn up and they're not going to necessarily show that in the trailer they're going to leave that for the oh my god moment but again I'm hopefully because um, there's another rumour saying they're going to have um, a bigger assembly than Endgame one I hope they don't do that I hope they just have key favourites like Charles Xavier Mr Fantastic Wolverine who else could we have Ghost, Ghost Rider isn't it we could have Ghost Rider Nicholas Cage even if it's just a cameo you can have all these things. Just keep it down to like even if it's just ten. Some are just in it for a second, and what what not? Yeah. Um, hang on a second. Let's have a think about this. What would be a reasonable number? Goblin, Sandman, Reptile, Octavius, Electro. So that's five. Plus two Spider-Man, so that's seven. You could actually have seven cameos, or seven char um, supporting characters in this. You can get away with up to seven when you think about it, because they had five. They had the popular Spider-Man characters, and the two Spider-Man. Uh, sorry, we the, had the popular villains from the other Spider-Man, the classic Spider-Man films, and we had the two Spider-Man. So they could get away with that's seven characters that paying fan service. So we could get away with seven characters. So you could have <clears throat> um, Wolverine, Professor X, Mr. Fantastic, um, I'm thinking from previous Marvel films because Tom Cruise hasn't been in a previous Marvel film, has he? So well, that's two in it. But you know what I mean? They could get away with fitting that much in. They don't have to go, they don't have to do a bigger ensemble because. I don't mind the idea of having because I don't I, I like them. The thing is, like I said earlier, I don't want it to spoil the limelight or take the spotlight off of Doctor Strange in it because it's his story. So no, don't go dark. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, yeah, I don't keep around, but yeah. So let me know what you think in the thing in the comments. Like I said, the, you know, the trailers they confirm that all the leaks and stuff. Um, Uh, you know about not all, of, not necessarily all of the leaks, but most of the leaks that have been out about like Iron Man uh, and all these other bits and bobs. You know what I mean? Because there's quite a few lot of so-called leaks, but it's confirmed quite a large portion of it, like the Illuminati. Also, in one of the photos at the end, of a friend of mine, uh, a good mate of mine sent me a photo from the poster. If you look at the poster, just analyze it. He analyzed each bit. And in a, in a broken glass, you see the all-seeing eye of the Illuminati, which is a good Easter egg. So yeah, let me know what the hint. Uh, are you as excited for this film? I am. I, it looks epic. I cannot stress it looks epic. But I think I wanted to get my thoughts on it. Uh, let you know what I thought about it, and also um, illustrate certain points of the trailer because people will be going, you know, "Oh, I don't know who that could be. I don't know who this could be. Who's that? Oh, that's what's the name of it. Looks like Captain Marvel. It's like no, 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 no." If it's Ram, it's not it won't be Rambo. Uh, and it, if it's nowhere, then fair enough. But Nova, I don't, but not many people. Things. If people only have only seen the films and not read the comics, they won't know who the hell Nova is. So they wouldn't do it. It would have to be characters that people have seen via the cinema. Don't forget, this is the MCU movie world universe. It's like, um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm rambling on, but it's like, for example, in Infinity, yeah, Infinity War. When Hulk comes through the Sanctum Roof, in the comics, that was Silver Surfer, not the Hulk. So they took that idea, but they changed it, see? So they're going to do that for the MCU films. They're not going to have characters from the comic books that not everyone's going to know about, unless they read the comics. And if it's got a No Way Home see, uh, vibe to it, then they're going to have characters from the old classic X-Men and all that in it. Okay? And in terms of Iron Man... If it is Iron Man Supreme and that headband earring, like I said, if you slow it down enough and look, 
that looks like Tom Cruise's blooming haircut, mate, with the headband from the, the Supreme suit. You know what I mean? Because he won't need a helmet because he's, he's like Captain Mar He's flying like Captain Marvel. He has the same powers as Captain Marvel. He has three Infinity Stones. Um, that'd be cool as well if we saw the if the, if the, if the room about him and Thanos' head in the jar. That'd be cool. That'd be that'd be cool, wouldn't it? If they walked, if you know, if he had to go through to the office first, you know, to deactivate the droids, and you saw, you know, Thanos' head in the jar on the shelf. That'd be cool. But anyway. So yeah, are you looking forward to this film? Let me know what you think. Have you spotted anything in the trailer? And what? Let me know if you think the same thought pattern as I am with that, the red stripes and that de demonic looking um, strange. Because that it could be sinister strange. It could be, yeah, you know, I mean, or it could be strange himself corrupted by the chaos magic. Because like I said, there's a price but again, misdirect. But the 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 red band on the arms, it just looks. That looks like Defender Strange's costume. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you looking forward to this film? Oh, certainly I am. It looks epic. And who knows, we might get some more TV spots and some trailers, but I reckon a lot of the other stuff, like whether it be Wolverine or Spider-Man, they're not going to dish out just yet. Anyway, like I said, let me know what you think. In the comments below, I've left a link to the previous trailer I've shown. Um, I'll try and get the trailer, the one for the trailer of the Iron Man. I saw in this, but I've just clicked on now. Um, in fact, I'll do this now before I forget. No, I'll do it in a bit. Oh, well, I can't. I can do it now. I go copy link. There you go. I'll put that in the description below. <clears throat> like I said, you know, I don't apologize for my editing stuff. I do it all on my phone. But anyway, yeah. So let me know. Are you looking forward to this film? Let me know what you think. What your ideas and theories are in the comments below. And if you like this video, hit the like. And if you haven't already, then please subscribe. And until next time, folks, take care. Bye bye.